Ladies and gentlemen, this is Josh. My username is Hansel or Josh Do. And this video is going to show you how to take your saved data from one device and transfer it to another. Unrelated to this video, it's just been announced that ROM Manager has an update for Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now it says touch is available. Turn the white balance down a little bit. Awesome! It didn't make me freaking buy it again like it did on my Transformer Prime. Look at that. You can touch it. I don't know how you would go back though. Well, I guess that's how you do it. Awesome. I am running the official Science Mod 9 Nightly on this device. I have a video that I'll link in the description if you want to run Android 4.0 on this beautiful tablet. Okay, so if you'll notice, we do not have Jelly Defense on this tablet. It is not there right now. Okay, so you see Jelly Defense in there? And when I open it, You'll notice that the game progress is 69%. What I'm going to do now is open up Titanium Backup. I'm going to back up and restore. Then I'm going to choose on Jelly Defense. And go ahead and delete all these. Back it up. And now I'm going to long press on it. And I'm going to choose send this backup. Now you can choose Box, Drive, Dropbox, or Gmail. And if you have other apps installed, those might pop up as well if they allow you to share your documents. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Dropbox because I'm comfortable with it and I've been using it for years. I'm going to go ahead and upload it to the raw directory, not inside a folder, and then press upload. You'll see it says uploading three files to Dropbox. Now to check the progress of those, and then click on the Uploads tab you'll see that all of it's been uploaded. The apk.gz is the actual app, the tar.gz is the actual data, and dot properties is not needed. You can actually restore it without that, so you just need those two files. Now I'm going to go over to the Galaxy tab, and I can do this in one of two ways. I can go to the Play Store, she actually bought it from the Amazon App Store, and there's Jelly Defense you'll see that it says reinstall. You can do it that way and then you can launch Titanium Backup and just restore the data. But I'm going to go ahead and restore both the app and the data. This screen pops up whenever there's an update. You can disable that. And over here I'm going to go to the Backup and Restore tab. No, actually I failed, I'm sorry. I need to go to the Dropbox app. I need to download all three of these files. Like I said, you can get away with just doing the two. And I'm not even going to do this one actually. I'm just going to do the TAR, which is the app. Export it to SD card and then choose your titanium backup folder and Then choose export. Yes, I do want to override it because I've done this before and then I want to go to the apk.gz Which is the actual app the tar.gz is the data and we're back in the titanium backup folder So I need to export it And you'll see that it's all exported done and ready to go Now I'm gonna go to titanium backup And I need to go to here to menu more refresh app lists and then I go ahead and reload the application as well. Alright, now I can go to backup and restore and under edit filters I can type in Jelly Defense. And with the latest Atini backup, if it's on your device, it'll pop up right here. And then press apply. And you'll see that it's got a line through it meaning that it's not currently installed. Just press on it and click restore. If you chose to download it from the market or the Amazon App Store, it's safe to just do the data. It's not saying data only because the app is not currently installed. Eh, I'm trying to get it to show up really good, but I can't. I'm gonna go ahead and choose restore app plus data. There's two ways you can run it. You can either go right here and press run app, or you can go to your app drawer, and you should find Jelly Defense right here. You know what I didn't do? I didn't back it up. I'm back on the phone now. 
I need to go ahead and back it up. Now it's uploading into Dropbox. Again, I'm going to switch over to the tablet. Go to Dropbox. Refresh it. <laughs> you know what I think I just did? I think I did the Plants vs. Zombies right here, and I didn't do the actual Jelly Defense. So let's try that again. I'm going to do this one, which is the data. It didn't ask me to override it, so that's what I did wrong. And then do the tar.gz, which is the actual data. The tar.gz is the data. Okay, so most importantly, we have the tar, which is the actual data that contains the game save. So I'm going to go to Titania Backup, Menu, More, Refresh App Lists, and then I always do this just to be safe. Reload Application. Now we've got to find the one we just did, which should be this one right here at the top. And I'm just going to do the data only, because that's all that we put in there. And now I can go back to Jelly Defense. Look at that. See? That's what I did wrong. While I edit this, I'll probably notice that I did, in fact, either download an old version of Jelly Defense or I actually downloaded Plants vs. Zombies instead. So, we'll see, but this is a video on how to restore data from one device to another. This works with nearly every app. I've had a situation where my stepbrother couldn't get past a certain part on Dragonfly. So what I did was, me and him share a folder with Dropbox. So I sent my tar.gz to him, downloaded it to his Titanium backup folder, refreshed his app list, and then restored just the data. So he picked up right where I left off. This can happen with Dragonfly, Angry Birds, anything. Nobody wants to restart over from scratch and do everything again. We're not prestiging here. <laughs> I play Modern Warfare 3 on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is indestructible. The first T is a 7. I'll put it up on the screen if you want to play with me. If you like this video, all that I ask is you give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I post content every week. I put time and effort into it. I try to teach people and learn as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.